the extraction of iron in the blast furnace. Why can iron be converted or reduced in the blast furnace? The reactivity series explains that. Now, the metals above carbon in this series cannot be reduced by carbon because they are below carbon. But metals from zinc to lead that are below carbon can be reduced by carbon. So we can reduce iron from the ore by carbon in the blast furnace. Now, this is the blast furnace. The materials required for the blast furnace are the iron ore, which is emetite, majorly, then coke, which is carbon. Limestone is also added to reduce the, from the final product. Now, this is what happens. The raw materials are fed at the top of the blast furnace into the blast furnace, and the hot air is blown from the bottom, hot air of about 2,000 degrees. Now, it melts the iron, and various reactions take place using these raw materials to form molten iron and molten slag. The slag contains the impurities and is lower in density compared to the density of iron. So it floats on iron and can be decanted off. Now what are the reactions that take place in the blast furnace? Number one, carbon, which is coke, combines with oxygen because air is blown in from the bottom. Now that reaction takes place to form carbon dioxide. The reducing agent is needed in this reaction. So the excess of coke or carbon that is added from the top combines with this carbon dioxide formed, it forms carbon monoxide. And this is a very good reducing agent. And this can go further to reduce the iron ore. The iron ore, which is emetite, is reduced by the carbon monoxide formed to form pure iron and carbon dioxide. Now this iron form is called pig iron. It contains about 5% carbon. Uh, the other reactions taking place, limestone, which is calcium carbonate added also from the top, is thermally decomposed. It forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. That means there'll be excess of carbon dioxide, which can also form more carbon monoxide that can be used in the reduction of iron ore. Now the calcium oxide formed combines with sand, which is silicon dioxide. The ore is dubbed from underground, so contains sand that can be removed by calcium oxide to form slag. I showed you slag the other time. Slag is formed on top of the iron ore, or, or top of the molten iron, because it, can, because it is less dense than the molten iron. Now, what are the uses of these different types of iron? Pig iron contains 5% carbon, it, it has limited uses because it's very brittle and majorly used in electric arc steel making in manufacture of gray iron coatings. But cast iron contains a lower percentage of carbon and can be used in making pipes, making pots and pans and utensils, making anchor for ships. The best form of iron is wrought iron. It contains less than 0.1% carbon. Normally used in making plates and iron doors and bars for steel boats, ETC.